What is up there YouTube? This is J Man Time and today I have a video on one of the most forgotten German light machine guns of the Second World War. And this light machine gun was not just used by Germany, but many of Germany's Axis allies and puppet states. It was also used by a number of neutral nations like Sweden, Denmark, Norway, and Finland. This light machine gun here could be considered the German equivalent to the British Bren gun or the American BAR, or the Czech ZB-30 slash ZB-26 series of light machine guns and automatic rifles. And that weapon is the Kenora Bremsey MG-35-MG-36, a German light machine gun slash machine rifle that was manufactured both in Germany but also manufactured in Sweden. So it was used by both the German armed forces in World War II, but also by neutral Sweden and many of their allies. Now the Kenora Bremsey also known in Sweden as the KGM-1940 or KGM-40, was a German light machine gun developed by a man named Hans Lauf, who worked for the German Magdeburg Machine & Fabric AG in Germany. The weapon was developed in 1933, but at the time, Germany was not allowed to manufacture new weapons for their military. So the production was outsourced to a Swedish company known as the Savenska Automatweapen AB or the SAAB Manufacturing Company. Now this is the same company that manufactured weapons for the Swedish armed forces like the Swedish Bar, also known as the KGM-21 and the KGM-37. Now in Sweden, the, the Swedish version was tweaked for the Swedish army and was modified by two Swedish arms developers named Ivor Stock and Torsten Lindfors, and they developed the Swedish version, which was chambered for the Swedish 65 by 55 millimeter Swedish Mauser. Both the German and Swedish versions used a long stroke gas piston and an open bolt system. The Swedish version had a higher rate of fire of 500 rounds per minute, while the German version fired some 480 rounds per minute. The German version was fed by 25 round box magazines and the Swedish version was fed by 20 round bar magazine as Sweden also manufactured its own version of the American BAR or Browning Automatic Rifle and it used the same magazines as the Swedish bar. Now in total only 5,000 of these light machine guns were manufactured for both Sweden and Germany. Germany only received about 500 to 1,000 of these, and these were manufactured both in Sweden, but manufacturing also took place in Germany at the German Wolfenfabrik Steyr, starting in 1936-1937. Sweden did not actually begin manufacturing variants for their own armed forces until 1940. After World War II had already begun, the Swedish military began expanding, and so they manufactured between 2,500 and 3,000 of these for the Swedish armed forces. They also manufactured a number of these for Finland and a few other neutral nations. Germany manufactured anywhere from 500 to 1,500 of the German version of the Kenora Bremsey light machine gun, and some of these were also sold to Finland, and they were also sold to many of Germany's Axis allies in the Second World War, like the independent state of Croatia, the Balkan puppet states, like the German Serbian puppet states, and the state of Macedonia. They were also given to many of Germany's Eastern Front allies, like the Latvian and Estonian Wolfen SS from 1941 onward. Now, in German service, this weapon was not viewed as a good or reliable weapon for two reasons. One, the Germans were used to belt-fed light machine guns at this point. The German MG-34 was the standard light machine gun for the first three years of World War II. This weapon did not enter German service until about 1938. 1939. So by that point, the MG-34 had already been in service. German soldiers were used to the MG-34, and this Kenora Bremsey was only purchased by the Waffen-SS and later the Wehrmacht as a substitute weapon, as the Germans did not have enough MG-34s in 1939, so they began manufacturing these for the SS and the Wehrmacht. This weapon was a magazine-fed light machine gun. The second reason was that this weapon had a very low rate of fire of just 480 to 500 rounds per minute, which the Germans were not used to. There were also some reports that the buttstock of the weapon would fall off and full auto fire if the weapon was not fired from a prone position. 
So all these reasons combined, the Germans did not like the Kenora Bremsey as much as they loved their MG-34s and later MG-42 series of light machine guns. And in fact, this is one of the reasons why the Germans did not use the captured Czech or Czechoslovakian ZB-26 and ZB-30 light machine guns as much as they did other Czech weapons like the VZ-24 Mauser bolt-action rifle and submachine guns like the ZK, ZK submachine gun. In a Swedish service, this weapon was manufactured much more than the German version. Over 2,000 of these were manufactured for the Swedish armed forces, and some of these were even exported to Sweden's allies, Norway and Denmark, during the Second World War, just before and after the German invasion. In fact, these were also given by Sweden to the Norwegian and Danish resistance groups operating in, in German-occupied Norway and Denmark between 1940 and 1945. In the Swedish service, this weapon was considered an okay light machine gun, but by 1942, the Swedes had manufactured enough more modern light machine guns that these weapons were later relegated to training and border security. And they were also given to the Swedish National Guard instead of the regular army. So after 1942, 1943, in the Swedish forces, this weapon was mostly relegated to lesser units of the Swedish armed forces. And also, these weapons were given out to many of Germany's Axis allies, as I mentioned earlier, like Latvia and also Croatia. They were used by the Latvian Waffen SS starting in 1941. At first they were used by the Germans, but the Germans later gave them to the Latvian SS as the Germans wanted more of the MG-34 and MG-42 series of LMGs. In the Balkan regions, they were mostly given to the state of Croatia, but also Germany's other lesser known puppet states in the Balkan, like the German state of Serbia or Belgrade. Germany actually controlled Serbia and had a pro-German puppet state in power in Serbia, and also the German-controlled state of Macedonia, which was another puppet state that was formed in 1944 towards the end of the Second World War. In German service overall, they were mostly used on the Eastern Front against the Soviet forces. Many of these were actually captured by the Soviet Red Army, and you can actually find some of these Knorr Bremsey Light Machine Guns at some of the Russian military museums, along with other captured German small arms from the Second World War. And then finally, there was Finland. Finland purchased at least a few hundred of these, at least one or two hundred of these guns from both Germany and Sweden during the Winter War with the Soviet Union until at least 1943 and 1944 when they were finally replaced by more modern German weapons and Finnish made weapons. So this light machine gun did have some extensive use during the Second World War and is one of the rarest light machine guns used by the German and neutral Swedish forces in the Second World War. This weapon is literally the equivalent of the British Bren gun or maybe the Czech ZB-26 slash ZB-30 light machine guns, or maybe even the American BAR, as the Swedish version did use components from the Swedish version of the American Browning automatic rifle. So what do you all think of this weapon? The Knorr Bremsey MG-35 slash MG-36, also known in Sweden as the KGM-40, one of the rarest light machine guns that never gets mentioned by any arms historians from the Second World War. Until next time, this was a J-Man Time, signing off.